All right, so we're going to be looking at how to get a free trial of Salesforce for a month. Um, and if I uh, actually back out of this here and go to the salesforce.com website, uh, if you're starting from here, really all you have to do is hover over the products area uh, in Salesforce. And once you're here, you're either, you know, most likely if you're coming to Salesforce, you're going to get started with sales or service. Uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and click sales, the most common use case. And you can see here that I've got the try for free button uh, on the center of the page. So uh, once I click this, you see that it pops me over to this screen uh, where I'm able to get a three 30 day trial, uh, gives you some details here on what you get, some preloaded dashboards, uh, gives you some guided experiences on how to set things up at this point in time as well. You're probably going to get um, some calls from Salesforce. Uh, from their sales team. So they're going to offer you some assistance as well uh, and try to answer questions um, for you as you kind of start that first 30 days. Keep in mind, they're not going to implement Salesforce for you, uh, but they do want you to obviously stick around after the free trial. So they're going to give you as much help uh, as they can. Um, don't pay attention to the $75 per user either. Um, that's for the, um, you can see here, there's a professional edition. There's actually a, a cheaper version as well, uh, which is called Starter. Let's say you've got a small team of maybe five to 10 people. Uh, you don't really need automated processes. You just need kind of like that base CRM. There's actually an even cheaper version of this. Uh, and also depending on the size of your company, once you start kind of speaking with Salesforce, uh, you know, you can obviously kind of negotiate that number uh, down or, you know, depending if you have multiple products that you're buying, maybe you want to roll in some email marketing, things like that. Uh, there are some levers that you can pull. Um, so once you start um, kind of filling in this information here, just hit next, next, fill in your phone number and your email, agree to the subscription. Uh, and then you're going to go ahead and get an email in your inbox uh, where you can log into your instance. So um, again, this is something I recommend doing, even if you're going to buy Salesforce and you're sure of it. Um, if anything, it gives you, you know, a free month to kind of implement things and feel things out. It's a really easy uh, process to upgrade this into a different version or, or to a paid version when you need to do so.